In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about uh, upgrading my TBS Discovery FPV setup um, from the GoPro to actually a uh, new dedicated FPV camera. And the great thing about the GoPro Hero 2 is that, and also the Hero 3 from what I've read, it can not only record but simultaneously uh, broadcast or do video out so you could use it as an FPV camera but as you probably know the just the the kind of fisheye lens or the convex looking lens really makes uh, perspective your perspective tough to see what I'm going to do is show you this camera that I purchased from securitycam2000.com and let me give a plug to soldier 53 flyer He's been a tremendous help to me just, you know, with some of my questions related to long distance FPV. So check out Soldier 53 Flyers uh, YouTube channel and be sure to subscribe. This FPV camera is, has 600 TV lines and I went ahead and there's three different lens options. I went with the uh, 2.8 millimeter lens. I believe there's a 2.5 and a 3.1, but I can't remember exactly but the 2.8 millimeter lens gives you about 130 degree uh, field of view camera ran about I think 50 bucks there was free shipping but you know it came from China it was about 20 days from date of order till uh, delivery so just keep that in mind you know I was anxious to get up and running so as part of the package you get your camera a controller to set your display modes and you know that you can set that and unplug. We'll go th through that in a little bit. Uh, cable, power cable, video out cable, which we will pretty much do away with uh, for the purposes of this setup. And then a separate, just standalone uh, video out and power cable. And this is what we'll actually use uh, during our setup and wired to the um, TBS Discovery frame. Okay, one other formality, and then we'll get to the fun stuff. I'm just going to talk through the configuration, you know, at a high level, and then we'll actually get into uh, the wiring and setup. So I don't have my DJI arms on here at the moment. So you'll see that uh, I've mentioned in a previous video, the actual setup video, that this you can actually buy a TBS core power system for your FPV setup and. Uh, this build actually does not go into that so I wanted to do kind of a one I don't have the TBS core and two I think there's a lot of you guys including myself out there that just wants kind of a standalone uh, setup so uh, obviously we have power coming into the frame and the frame has a built-in power di distribution system we'll probably most likely wire the camera to you see right there the little plus and minus. The input voltage on this camera is uh, 12 volts DC so I'm going to be using a 3S uh, LiPo so that should work just perfectly uh, for the setup. And then separately I'll be using this the Hobby King 5.8 gigahertz uh, transmitter to broadcast video from the FPV camera down to my receiver. So this was previously wired into my uh, ready-made RC cable that I pointed out earlier so I'm going to desolder that and we're going to run these leads into the actual uh, FPV camera. One thing I'll point out before we actually uh, tear into this and start wiring is that there's a good diagram there's a couple of good uh, instruction seat sheets in the box. We're going to go ahead and do away with this bulky cable Okay, so when we connect our cable, what we want to make sure to do is if you notice this J1 connector, there's actually a plus 12 volt uh, mark right here next to the connector. So we want to make sure that when we enter the, put this pin in place, or when we put this plug in place, that we have our 12 volt lead up top. And it's real easy to get these, the ends mixed up. And that plugged in. And now we have our power, ground, and video uh, from top to bottom. Next, we're going to go ahead, head up, go ahead, and wire up the other end of this camera uh, cable. 
So we'll go ahead and snip these, this connector off and we'll wire up power and ground. And then we'll leave the yellow alone for the time being. That's what we'll connect to our video transmitter. Our camera is all soldered up, at least uh, power and ground that we can run off the frame, TBS frame. I actually did it right just behind the uh, FPV camera mount so that these guys are close enough. For the next step, I took my Hobby King transmitter and soldered the video lead, video out lead from the camera to the transmitter. Did a little electrical tape wrap. And then the other thing that I did is I went ahead and I grounded the other lead from the transmitter. So it has a, see the yellow lead which is video and the black which is ground. So I went ahead and just grounded that with the same lead or the same connector that I used for the video ground cable. And just for the time being I've gone ahead and put some uh, little piece of electrical tape just so we don't stress these solder joints. And that really should be all we need to do uh, just to verify that our uh, electronics are working. So I'm go going to power the TBS frame with a three cell LiPo so about 11.1 11, 11 .1 volts and I have a little uh, separate LiPo that I'll use to power the transmitter and then also the receiver. I have another LiPo on the ground which stays on the ground and uh, keeps the receiver powered. So we're going to connect everything and then we're going to take a look at our little LCD display and see if we can get uh, the picture from the camera. Our transmitter is powered. We have our receiver powered and now I'll power the quad or the frame which will power the camera. Display. And there we go. We have what is a pretty incredible picture. Very nice. The GoPro actually didn't fit the whole screen, the video out actually there was some letterboxing going on. So everything's looking really good. And we can actually use this little menu. So if you see on the L C D screen, you can go through these different settings. Exposure, your white balance. As I get more familiar with this, I'll post uh, a video that shows kind of the optimal settings, but there's quite a few settings here. And I'm just going to leave it at the factory settings for the time being. Okay, and what we can do next is just go ahead and get rid of this controller for the menu. Pull that out and we'll just set that aside for the time being. And one thing I want to point out is you probably notice there's a little lens cap which always comes in handy. One thing I want to point out is if you look here that the camera does not fit in the you know space provided by the TBS frame. But the cool thing is you can notice there's a little outer edge all the way around the camera. There's perforations at each corner. So I'm going to go ahead and clip those off so we can get rid of this outer ring and I bet that should get us in a place where we can get our FPV camera mounted. Get it lined up just right. Clip these guys off. Once you make your initial clips you should be able to just just be careful, you know, these things are pretty fragile. So just peel that off. So the edges are clipped off. Looks good and we'll go ahead and see. Oh yeah, that fits nicely. You can see how it 
slides right on in there and we'll go ahead I think for the time being I might just put some zip ties I'll go ahead and um, I'll also just maybe put a little bit of dampening material between uh, where the camera butts up against the uh, the frame I've just gone ahead and cut a little square of sorbethane and poked a hole and then just wrapped it around this lens right like that kind of push it in and then like I said I'll, I'll do some zip ties just to get it in place here we are with our FPV cam all set up this is now this isn't going to win any design awards but you know the zip ties are working well with the sorbethane so that's just kind of an initial cut I still plan on using the GoPro just right next to my FPV cam but you know solely for video recording I don't have to worry anymore about using the GoPro for dual purpose you know recording and video out it's just as I mentioned earlier that doing FPV with that lens is a challenge but it was a great starting place don't get me wrong so I hope this video was helpful and as I pointed out earlier make sure you check this guy out it's the uh, setup from security cam 2000 specs and once again you know a plug for soldier 53 flyer who turned me on to this guy and I've um, he had great things to say about this setup and as I have hopefully demonstrated to you and as I've just seen for myself it's pretty uh, incredible resolution so I hope this was useful and thanks for watching